All right, guys, here's the uh, the Predator build. Um, I got the pump. Let's see, I got the uh, 670 Predator. Um, the uh, skid and pulleys and belt. I already unboxed this in this paper. It's been a while, but here's the uh, skid. Pull that bad boy up. Oh man. Hopefully this goes pretty easy, you know, but we'll see. It's the belt guard. There's the belt guard. This engine. I think that's the mount for the pump. I think. But we'll find out. I really don't have much of a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'll make more video. But that's it. And there's Gia. She thinks anytime there's a box, she thinks it's for her. All right. You ready to Gia? Gia. You ready to do this? Here's the pump. General pump. TSF 2021. Made in Italy. And uh, this thing is going to be, I think it's eight and a half gallons per minute and 3,500 PSI. So we'll get started. All right, I got the pump mounted to the base um and there's a little tensioner cord hopefully you can see it underneath which is just a, a big long bolt essentially and what happens is as you tighten this it'll pull this that way so it'll pull this that way and then now this is the belt cover We'll go right there like that so pretty sure that's how it goes this is the bushing that will go here and then so the bushing goes there and then the pulley goes on top of that That's how she's looking. All right, well, I pulled the uh, engine out and I think I figured out the bushing. So basically it's on there. And now I just gotta put the pulleys on the two um, shafts and then the belt will go. We're getting there. gonna be a monster got the pump mounted and I'm gonna mount the engine start messing with the bushings the belt guard etc and one thing I could tell is the belt guards got to go on first this has to go on first before the bushings kind of like so bada bing look at that bada bing bada boom yep so this is gonna have to go on and then the then the bushings so let me back out a little bit yep so you got your two shafts on each you got the pump shaft and the motor shaft and you're going to put the small wheelie on this one and the big wheelie on this one and that's how it's going to be all right we're getting there all right so i got the bushings on and the pulleys on so this one the black bushing went on first there's a little set screw that holds it that you screw it down it's an allen key holds it onto the uh, shaft all right then this pulley slides on top all right now these nuts go through the unthreaded holes on this one on the pulley there's unthreaded holes and then it threads into this bushing holds it all on there okay 
When you want to take it off, you got to undo these nuts, put them in the threaded holes, and slowly crank them down, going to, you know, taking turns cranking them down, and it pushes it off. That's how you get it off. Now this one, I don't know how to get off, but it's on there, so we're good. And it's same thing, bushing, and then the little pulley. So that I got the belt on, and then this thing down here, you, you tighten it, and it pulls the pump this way. So when you get it nice and tight, the belt nice and tight, we're good. So now, <clears throat> I just gotta put the uh, cover on. All right, we're in there. Now, I just gotta plumb it. All right, so I got the unloader on there. And the unloader's pretty simple. Um, let me see if I can get it in this shot. If you look right there, it says in, all right? So you can go two ways in. You can go in going up or going over, all right? And then this is out. All right. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the, the top ones up here. So you got your in here and in here and out. These ones are your bypass. So you cap one side, put a nipple, three eighths bar, boom. And that's going to go back to your buffer tank. And then I got my one and a half inch um, inlet barb. So there she is, she's getting there. All right, I got oil in here. There's a dipstick. And then I'm gonna just hook my battery up. Right here, there's a uh, little nut. That's where you put your, your positive feed in. And then you just uh, put the negative down where, the, where the, the engine frame is. It mounts to the base. You could just put the negative down there and you're good. So that's it. She's all done. Just got to hook up my IBC tote and she's rolling. And the gas, obviously. I got an external gas can right there. And it's going to go hook right up to here. And that's it. I'll put the battery and the gas tank off to the side on the trailer. But that's it.